they have it here. We have La Paz Bat Choy. Unbelievable. My favorite. So good. Yeah, if I like it, I'll be coming back every day. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, yeah. This does not look like this should be at all. No more today. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> and you know, one of my favorite street foods is salad. <laughs> Give these little nuggets of happiness a try. Oh, the spice hits you. I mean, this feels a lot like Alice in Wonderland, where you just go down this rabbit hole and end up in a completely different place. Well known for high-rises, luxury hotels, fancy restaurants and shopping malls. But what it is usually not known for is street food. Well, today all of that changes because we have discovered a little street nestled right in an alley next to Uptown BGC where they have some amazing grilled Filipino street food and other delicacies. And we're going to show you around today and try some of the amazing foods that you can get here any time of the week, any time of the day. And the first stop obviously has to be grilled Filipino food. We have here typical Filipino barbecue. Oh, that's the uh, gizzard, right? No, it's big intestine. Ah, okay, big intestine. Chicken intestine, which is one of my favorites as well. Isao, we got barbecue as well. And yempo, which is your favorite. Yeah. discovered the craziest thing. Whenever I travel to Iloilo, there is one dish that I always, always crave because I can't seem to get the original, the authentic one anywhere else in Manila. But they have it here. We have La Paz Bat Choy. Unbelievable. Are we in Iloilo? I love Filipino street food. And this is like sort of heaven for me. It's very nostalgic for me because we can't get street food anywhere in BGC and that's why we had to make the street food by yourselves in our previous video and this is a delight to see Filipino street food just behind BGC literally behind BGC Yo, they have Pat Choy, they have KBL I am going to lose my head <laughs> <laughs> My favorite It's so good It's so good and it tastes clean 230 Thank you, Thank you like mongo with adobo with ah, nice, nice, nice. Chicken, chicken. So it's like a calendaria food. Yeah, calendaria ah, food. Nice, nice. Yeah. If I like it, I'll be coming back every day. Yes, sure. Every day lunchtime. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank man. you. Bye -bye. See you again. Oh, yeah. This does not look like BGC at all. Whoa. What a difference between the skyline back there and what's going on here in the street. I don't want to die. Right? I'm no longer used to this. I don't want to die. Traffic oh jam, rush hour in BGC. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what do we have here? Yeah. You want to try, love? What is it? Uh, Kikiam. Nice. Slightly sweet, doughy, more like bread, fried bread than anything fishy. That's really satisfying. The sauce is so good. It's like a little bit sweet, but very subtle, not overwhelming. We missed out. No more today. We'll come back tomorrow. <laughs> Since we're here already, and as I told you, Filipino street food is one of my favorites. And you know, one of my favorite street foods ever. Is balut. <laughs> oh, what do we have here? Also one of my favorites. Very nostalgic because it's something you would see every time you get out of uh, preschool, 
elementary school and high school and something that I love as well. I think I haven't had it in 10 years maybe. We have just this big bowl full of corn which gets served up with a cheese but it's not really cheese it's like more cheese powder right and then the, the, the liquid and the steam of the corn mixes with the cheese powder which gives it this uh, macaroni and cheese-esque feel to it it's really really cool mm -hmm. Some more liquids to dissolve the cheese. Yeah, and I don't know what it is, but it's the best part of the cheese corn. The soup. Soup. The soup. The broth. Thank you. Mm, sweet. The corn is like has still a lot of bite to it. It's perfectly cooked. And then that cheese gives another little bit of that sweetness to it. It's almost like Dorito cheese that got dissolved in that steamy water. It's really good. Wow. I think we need to give the Xiaomai vendor another chance. He said seven minutes. Yeah, we seven are, minutes we are going back more. there. Just trying to get out of people's way because it's a... Uh, yeah, it is so busy here. It seems to be that a lot of the people that work here in BGC are commuting home from here. There seems to be like a, a Jeepney pickup spot or Jeepney station here. There's a long line. Oh, it's just tricycle? Ah, that's why it's so crazy with all the tricycles rushing past. So how does it work? So the people here will get a tricycle to the nearest jeepneys or the it nearest like buzzers? It looks like it. Either that or like, yeah, to get to MRT or something you could commute with to go to... Looks like Makati area, okay. it seems. Because this is, I believe, South Sembo already. Oh. And as far as I know, Sembo belongs to Makati. It is a very thin line, but it is a, it is a very thick contrast. Mm -hmm. All right, let's check out the other goodies that we have here in the bag. We have uh, Isao. Look at that. I'm sure most of you know, but this is chicken intestine. Now, my favorite way of having this is when there's like charred bits on it, crunchy bits. That's my favorite. Mm. It was really nice. You don't get any like taste of intestine with this. It's just pure chicken, a few spices, really tender, really soft. It's quite delicious. It has a charred taste to it, even though I'm missing the crunch, but it's still delicious. Ah, yes, here we go. Japanese pork. Ah, Japanese pork. Meron. Yes, you want to be in the What do we have here? Chili. Chili. Nice. Chili garlic. Try for a lot. Baby, that's a lot of chili. That's a lot of chili right there. I just gave these little nuggets of happiness a try. Oh, look at that. It's sweet. It's spicy. Woo! Woo! The spice hits you afterwards. Oh! Ain't a cold. That's spicy. Ah. How, 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 areco. Areco. <laughs> areco. It's so spicy. Areco manghang. Oh. But it's very good, Kuya. Delicious. Thank <laughs> you. You like? Shut up. Yeah, but it's not it's not manghang for me, it's not spicy for me. Not spicy for you? Yeah, actually. Mm. Kuya over here is a street food vendor and a traffic enforcer at the same time. Multitasking. Thank you. Thank you. How many kilos? Kuya does his bookkeeping by kilos. <laughs> Here's a little fun fact. A lot of cash heavy businesses around the world actually do weigh their money versus count the money because it's faster.
tricycle is an intermediate connection between Guadalupe. I believe so, but she's saying that goes to Guadalupe, but I'm not sure. Can the tricycle go all the way to Guadalupe? That's pretty far. <laughs> so I think, I think, I think it's tricycles can go pretty far. From here, you step into this hallway that takes you back to BGC. I mean, this feels a lot like Alice in Wonderland, where you just go down this rabbit hole and end up in a completely different place. Like, then we ate in you start off in uh, in BGC, go down the rabbit hole, and you're in a street food wonderland, just seconds away from BGC. That is absolutely amazing. Not so amazing is the storm that is pulling up right now. Uh, Why is it only here in this area? And look at this, just like now that. We're in, we're in BGC again. Amazing. Hello. Street Food Wonderland over here, Grand Hyatt over here. Nuts.